Hey guys, today we're talking about these batteries. We've got um, two different types of batteries right here. This is the um, this is the wrong type of battery for a solar application. This is more related to uh, starting a car. Um, the CCA right here means cold cranking amps, and so it delivers a large amount of amps quickly to the battery to start a car. That's why uh, it takes a little while to charge up a, a car battery sometimes because it delivers a lot and then the, the amount of amps it needs to just kind of keep maintaining isn't that much. It's just kind of a trickle charge um, that you get through your DC ports in your car. So this is, this is not something you want to use. Uh, some people might try to use these, but um, this, is, this is along the lines of what you want to use. And this, as you can see, is a deep cycle Marina RV battery. Uh, there's different types of batteries you can use for solar. Um, some of them are closed cell, and meaning that, or they're sealed batteries. Um, and some of them have an electrolyte that you have to like top off water in them. Um, but a lot of people are confused by the, um, the sealed batteries. They still off gas and batteries, batteries off gas is they have a bunch of chemicals in them and they have these lead acid batteries have sulfuric acid and the main way that is released is when they are overcharged. So you don't want, you want to have a charge controller between whatever's charging this battery, be it your car alternator or your solar panels. And you want to make sure that once they get, once the battery gets topped off, that it stops charging. So because that's when it really starts releasing that sulfuric acid gas. Uh, the sealed batteries, some of them actually have a specific hole where it's vented out of, and you can run a tube outside of the vehicle. Um, but there's still another thing is that these batteries are explosive, especially um, lead acid. Uh, lithium ion batteries have had problems with exploding so you it, it's definitely preferable to put these either in the hood where there's extra room sometimes or in the trunk uh, so that and putting them in like a case uh, to contain anything if, if something did happen uh, you definitely don't want it in the space with the car of the car with you um, I've seen that but it's, it's just risky um, this, as you can see, is it's it's a 12 volt battery. It's 109 amp hours, and that's that's a good bit. And especially for the devices I'm charging, I'm charging a thermoelectric cooler, which runs about three to five amps. And so I calculate that'll last me about over a day, like 24 hours or so, running, and. I won't be running it that long. Uh, I'd probably be mostly be running at night when there's no solar that's charging this battery. So it's kind of, it's about doubled, which is what you want to do with one of these batteries, is you don't want to discharge these batteries more than 50%. That's um, gonna extend out the life of the battery. Some people are even say like about 70%. You, like you don't want to discharge more than 30%, but 50% uh, is, is kind of more the standard. 70% uh, can get very expensive if you're oversizing it by that much. Um, but you really want to keep these things as topped off as you can. Um, batteries aren't cheap and you really want to make them last as long as possible. So this, this is a good size for what I have. I also might be charging some uh, mobile devices and uh, a laptop on this. And this is the positive and this is the negative. Uh, these are the, um, the terminals that I'll be connecting to. Um, this, this is a protective cap right here. And we'll be connecting the, the jumper cables to this, to the, um, the charge controller, which is then gonna regulate how much charge this is getting. Um, and then this will run uh, to an inverter, which will convert this DC into AC and we'll be able to plug uh, AC devices into it. And then we've got the, the battery case right here, and we've got the lid. Uh, this is all pretty cheap. As you can see, this was 8167. That's just an old battery I've had. 
and I think this was about 20 bucks. Thank you.